Well, it's a unique learning experience going on in Sacramento today. One local school sending ping pong balls to space. space, space Marcus space. Allen live with why the heck they're doing this. This is one small <laughs> leap for ball, one giant leap for ball kind. I, I blew it again. <laughs> it was supposed to be one small leap for a ball, one giant leap for ball kind, yeah. but I blew it. Which is why excited. I want these kids to grow up and invent a time machine so I can go back in time and maybe have a shot at being smart or at least get a shot at doing something as cool as sending a ping pong ball in space. Now, you guys, when you heard about this, you thought they were just, you know, speaking figuratively, right? Yeah, I thought it was like a green screen fun, shoot them at a green screen no! target or something. No green screen, no LucasArts technical <laughs> effects Star Wars style going down. Meet your teachers and let them explain how this tonight will really be going where no ping pong ball has gone before. Four, four, except for ping pong balls in this program. Hi, guys, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Andy Cudco. And I'm Lucy Norton, fourth grade. And so yeah, you guys are teach class. What class do you teach? First grade. All right, you've been doing this for a while. You're really having students decide what goes inside. They cut them in half, insert something in, and then tape them back uh. together and then decorate them. Oh. And what are they learning from this? They're learning to compare and contrast the th uh, what's going to happen in outer space to what happens to our control item here, on here in our classroom. May I just be the first to say, what a great school this is! Thank you. What a great program! Thank you. Got it. How does this all happen? You know, one of the pillars of the uh, Folsom Cordova Academy is project-based learning, and I think it's things like this that really make it exciting because you're seeing math and science really applied in the real world. No kidding. Uh, who had something to do? Who had something to do with deciding what went one into one of these ping pong balls? Got it. All right, you miss down front. What did you decide needed to go in one of the ping pong balls to space? A, a DS game. A DS game? Which one? Barbie one. A Barbie one? All right, not my first pick, but Barbie that's why you're you and I'm me. <laughs> nice job. Barbie in space, 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 space. Let's go back here. <laughs> All right, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. What did you decide you needed to go in there? Um, I decided to put a veggie seed in there, but we ended up putting um, flower seeds. Flower, flower seeds. seeds? What did you think they'll grow in space? What if they come back and they're mutant? And they grow giant <laughs> flowers. Then I'll just have to cut them down. <laughs> cut them yeah, down. Exactly. Logic. How about you? Make the plans. Toothpaste. Toothpaste, toothpaste in what? space. I when I was his age, I didn't even know toothpaste. How about you? Um, I decided maybe cotton candy because the atmospheres might just change the evolving nation. Exactly. It will be mutant cotton candy, which will make it even sweeter. <laughs> Your teeth will just explode. Hey, you guys, get ready to geek out. Okay. Cody. Okay. Ready? Look at this. So it's a weather balloon that actually causes it to leave the oh, Earth's this atmosphere. Is so cool. <laughs> this is the last one being launched. Let me show you where it gets really cool. This is the launch away of 49 that happened two years ago. The balloon goes up, but check this out. They launch it right there, but wait, check this out. It has onboard live camera. Oh. The students can watch their ping pong balls, measure the temperature, <laughs> the airspeed, the elevation as it goes into space. That's cool. Now wait, if you were to sit with this for another 10 minutes, you won't believe how high it gets above the earth. Take a look over there. Wow. The students get to watch via live webcam broadcast their ping pong balls in space. Woo! You are the most awesome school ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. cool. I'm not coming back. <laughs> To you. Their technology is a lot better than ours. Stay there. So stay there. Cool. You and you and you. You're getting a ping pong ball in space, <laughs> and you're getting a ping pong ball in space. Hey, Tina.